Hey, what's going on everybody? Today we're gonna to do a barbecue breakfast. I'm gonna show you how to make my breakfast fatty. My name is Rich and this is Rack's Barbecue and Grill. Stick around and let's get cooking. my breakfast fatty on the smoker. It's one of the few things that you can actually barbecue for breakfast. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with a pound of bacon. We're gonna turn it into a nice weave. We've got some Jimmy Dean breakfast sausage here that we're gonna lay out on top of the bacon weave. We're gonna saute up some garlic, green peppers, and onions, some eggs, not cook them all the way through because it's gonna sit in the smoker for an hour and a half or so. Um, just kind of get them going, pepper jack cheese, wrap it in the weave, and then dust it with some barbecue rub. Uh, so we're gonna get started. Uh, we're also putting hash browns in this, so we're gonna put hash browns down first, let those go for a little while. Boil down on the griddle. And we're just gonna do about a cup and a half of hash browns. Salt. Pepper. And some garlic salt. Let those go for a few minutes. We don't want to cook them all the way through because they're going to be stuffed in the fatty. Okay, while the hash browns are cooking, we're gonna just get our eggs ready here. So I've got six eggs. Throwing some garlic powder, just to taste. Some salt. And black pepper. Just beat that mixture up. Okay, so our scrambled eggs are ready to go on the grill, griddle here, but we still need to work on our hash browns and start sauteing our peppers, onions, and garlic first. So let's check on the hash browns, give them a flip, flip the hash browns. Really just want to brown them, get them out of that frozen state. We'll push them to the side a little bit, a little bit more oil down. I'm just using the canola oil. You know, and this whole thing, you know, we're gonna run the smoker at 250 degrees. Um, it's gonna take about an hour and a half. So I'm doing this in the afternoon right now for tomorrow morning's breakfast. So once we're done, we'll just wrap it up, put it in the fridge, and pull it out in the morning. But uh, put our green peppers down, our onions. Just gonna let those simmer for about two or three minutes, give them a flip, and then we'll throw the garlic in. We'll flip our onions and green peppers, trying to get a little bit of a caramelization going on them. Get them browned up just slightly. Got about six cloves of minced garlic. Get that into everything. Try and get it mixed around the best you can. We'll let those go for a couple minutes and then we'll be ready to add in the eggs. Okay, green peppers, onions, and garlic are done. Give them a quick flip. I'm gonna push the hash browns over to the cool side of the griddle. So I don't want them cooking all the way through. Add in our eggs. Just using the green pepper and onions as a dam so it doesn't go running down my drain. We just want to keep this moving around. We're going to pull them when they're still a little bit runny. So they'll finish cooking in the smoker. Okay, that's as far as we want to take the eggs.
to get the hash browns off. And I'm using country style hash browns, but you can use the shredded hash browns if you like. Okay, now we have to assemble everything. First step is to pull out our bacon. I have about a pound of bacon, 12 slices here. And we're gonna make a six by six weave. It is not hard at all. Just line up six slices of your bacon. This way. Fold up every other one, starting on one end. And then go the opposite direction. Fold those back. Then every other one again. Opposite of where you started last time. Okay, so we have our bacon weave. Now we're gonna take our pound of breakfast sausage, lay that on top, and just smash it down. Try to keep the thickness the same all the way around. Also wanna stay away from the edges. Keep about an inch or so. It'll help when you wrap it. Okay, so once you have your sausage down, Four slices of pepper jack cheese, just for a little bit of heat. It's not gonna add that much at all, but just enough. Next, we'll get our scrambled eggs. I used six eggs in this. I probably could have got away with four. Have a little bit extra, but that's okay. Now we're gonna get our hash browns those on top you know, give it a little push as you're packing everything in so it all sticks together it'll just make it easier when it comes time to roll this thing back up okay now the tricky part because we have a lot of stuff in here use the parchment paper that you have laid down and just start rolling it over use your fingers to kind of push things in as you're rolling Try to get it so the back seam, the front seam of the bacon weave meets the back seam. And it can be tricky, but just take the time with it. And then fix your ends. You will lose a little bit, as you can see. And then the last thing we're gonna do is hit this whole thing with some barbecue rub. Nice, generous dusting of barbecue rub. Okay, this baby's ready for the smoker. Like I said, it's uh, late afternoon here right now. This was being made to put on the smoker first thing tomorrow morning. Because I'm gonna run it at about 250 degrees. It's gonna take about an hour and a half or so to get everything up to 165 internal and get a nice, relatively crisp bacon on it. Um, if you want it crispier, you can run it hotter. If you don't want to take an hour and a half to, to finish this, you could run the temperature up at, say, 350. Um, get it done maybe in 45 minutes or so. I like to run it at 250 for an hour and a half because that's when I get the smoke out of the pellet grill. Um, so, low and slow, just like most barbecue. We will wrap this up and put it in the refrigerator. And through the magic of video editing, we will see you tomorrow. Rectech is uh, preheated to 250 degrees. This bad boy is ready to go on the smoker. One last step before we do that is to give it a nice light coating with some barbecue sauce. I am using my candy jalapeno barbecue sauce. I'll leave the link up here if you want to learn how to make that. You can use any sauce that you want. Uh, this, this is my favorite. I love this stuff. If you've watched my other videos, you, you've seen me using this all the time. So, But you can use any barbecue sauce that you want. It doesn't matter. Just gonna get some of it on the top of this and we'll spread it around. Just give it a little bit extra kick of heat. All kinds of flavors going on in this thing. Make sure you get it on the sides. We're not gonna worry about the bottom on this. Um, you can if you want to, but just get concerned with 
flipping it over and possibly everything coming unraveled on me, so I'm just gonna leave it as is. Get the thermometer in place. And get her in the smoker. Okay, we're gonna let that run for about an hour and a half until the internal temperature is just about 165 degrees and then we'll pull it out. All right, our breakfast fatty just hit 162 degrees, so we're gonna pull off the smoker and let it rest till it reaches the 165 that we're after. Okay, we're gonna let this rest for about 10 minutes. Let it come up to the 165. So for now, we'll push it to the side. And we're using a crescent dough sheet. Got the smoker cranked up to 350 degrees right now. into some even pieces. The cooking sheet is a little bit smaller than the crescent sheet, so I don't want to leave these thick pieces on the side here. They just won't cook evenly. Get these on the smoker, let them go for about 10 minutes, pull them out, and we'll be ready to slice into the fatty. Okay, the crescent squares should be done by now, so we're going to pull them off. Let's get these over on the plate. Okay, now it's time to slice this thing open. Look at all that deliciousness inside there. Like we were saying before, everything that we just kind of halfway cooked, the eggs, the onions, the green peppers, garlic, everything like that, is set up nicely. There's a nice smoke ring going around the outer edge. We'll get these sliced up and onto our crescent squares. Place one slice on top of each of our crescents. And the next thing we're going to do, I warmed up some sausage gravy on the stove in the house, and so we're just going to give each of these a little drizzle. We are ready for the taste test. I know what these things taste like. They're phenomenal. It's barbecue breakfast, man. It takes some time, but it is so worth it. That's what I love about these. Not only do we have a smoky taste, we taste the bacon, the potatoes, the green peppers, the green onions, the garlic, a little bit of spice from the uh, barbecue sauce that we put on the top of it. Not a lot, I mean it's just a hint, it's, it's not overpowering at all. Uh, the sausage gravy just kind of melds it all together. This stuff is, is incredible. Uh, it did run, I should mention, about two hours, closer to the two hour mark to get to 165. I'm uh, pretty sure that's because I made this last night, it was in the refrigerator overnight, so it started colder than it should have been. So plan accordingly, if you're gonna make it the night before, Throw it in the fridge, probably looking at two hours. If you're gonna make it and throw it immediately in the smoker, it'll probably knock 20, 30 minutes off of it for you. That's it, guys. That is my version of the breakfast fatty. As always, the recipe link is in the description below. Subscribe to us on YouTube. We're on other social media sites as well. We're on Instagram, Twitter, 
TikTok, Facebook. Um, reach out to us. If you make anything that you've seen in any, any of our videos, snap a picture, tag us, let us know what you think. Let us know your own versions of them, how you've come up with uh, changing a recipe around to make it your own. So that's a wrap. That's our breakfast fatty. And as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.